Hi everybody, it's Steph here, and hey, take a look at this beauty. What a beautiful, beautiful pen this is. Um, unfortunately, it's a customer's this, um, but what we actually have here is an absolutely stunning jade green. Um, this is the Anotto the pen from Delarue, Delaru, London. Um, the model number on this particular pen is a number 5253 which what looks like a CO underneath the model number at the uh, at the end of the barrel or on the plunger uh, the plunger knob at the end um, but what I've actually done is just shown you the pen came to me a little bit dirty inside it was it had remnants of ink etc the whole pen has been totally cleaned it's, it's had a slight polish ready for assembly but what I thought I'd do is before I actually assemble the pen and show you the beautiful pen actually working I just thought I'll actually tell you um, again just go through the different parts as I say what we've got here we've got the jade green barrel here and um, just below there we've got the plunger knob that will actually go onto the end of the barrel there um, here we have a retaining screw which holds the uh, the cork washers in the end of the barrel here. Um, here we've got actually the plunger knob which um, eventually I will be putting new cut washers on the end here. To the top of the plunger knob you have this this little section here, this cone, which the reason it's a cone is because it acts as a if you like a shut off valve for the ink once it's all uh, been assembled. We've got the um, original uh, nib here. We've got the feed just next to the nib which again has been totally clean. Uh, we've got the section which has been cleaned and polished. Um, just here is a little pin that will hold this particular um, cone if you like to the top of the plunger uh, to the top of the plunger here. And last but not least what we've got here um, is the the cap and as you can see the cap's got this beautiful gold uh, gold filled uh, clip but we'll show you that uh, in the second half if you like um, what I'm actually going to be doing I'm actually going to be replacing well I've actually taken the old remnants out they've actually just totally deteriorated I've got these lovely new cork washers to to be installed um, to the top here um, what I'll actually be doing is replacing and putting a brand new uh, cup washer here now on this particular pen we will be needing this uh, this back washer if you like and what it simply does the the back of this rubber washer will actually sit inside the backing the hard backing washer here um, basically what happens on on a lot of the Anotto pens um, just to the top of the plunger there there's actually a little recess where the cut washer will actually sit inside on this particular model there's no recess I'm hoping you can see that uh, the top there is just totally flat so what we'll do we'll put um, a backing washer on first and then on top of that we'll put the rubber washer which will sit inside the backing washer and I'm hoping another thing you may uh, you may notice here ladies and gentlemen there's no thread to the top of this particular plunger here a lot of them have um, a th well a threaded top there which allows you to screw the the cone piece into the top this one hasn't it just simply sits into place and then we pop back the uh, the retaining uh, pin there and that holds it all back together so this is the pen totally dismantled again it's been totally cleaned inside here it's been it's beautifully clean you can you can eat your dinner off it if you like um, but just thought I'll show you the pen totally dismantled and what we're going to do now ladies and gentlemen I'm not going to show you on the video I'm going to go away assemble the pen put the washers on etc put the new coat washers in the end of the barrel we're going to test it and then ladies and gentlemen I'm going to come back show you the pen and show it to your writing what a beautiful beautiful pen this is <laughs> I can't wait to be quite honest with you so just for now ladies and gentlemen I'll just say bye bye for now and I'll see you a little while okay so we're back again and here we have it ladies and gentlemen what a beauty <laughs> what an absolutely beautiful beautiful pen this is ladies and gentlemen as I say this is the Anotto um, Anotto the pen 
um, and it's marked by Delarue and Company Limited of London and this particular one as you can see comes in this absolutely gorgeous um, jade green colour now the particular model on this particular one um, I'm hoping you can actually see it if we can find it because it's jade green you might find it a little bit difficult to see but it's basically just above the black pin there so I'm going to keep it still and give it a little twirl I'm hoping you can see that but the model is actually number 5253 and then just underneath it it has a CO now the CO I believe um, indicates to us that well I believe this particular pen is a celluloid pen um, it comes from the 19, 1930s when Anotto uh, brought out a range of different coloured pens and I believe in this particular model um, they brought out well as I say this lovely jade green they brought out a, a, um, a blue colour and um, I also believe they bought, brought a, a red colour out as well. So, as I say, 1930s. Um, the size of the pen from the top of the uh, top of the cap here to the bottom of the barrel um, capped is approximately 135 millimeters. Um, around the centre of the barrel here, it's approximately it's a tad over 10 10 millimeters in diameter. And as you can see, it's got this very unusual um, Onotto, Onotto clip to the top there. And uh, again, hopefully we can show you a close-up. You can see it's got the Delarue symbol to the top of the clip there. What you'll also notice is to the top of the cap here, it's got a gold band, um, which also is repeated at the bottom of the cap and at the bottom, um, at the bottom of the barrel. Now these gold, well these gold bands, they're not solid golds, they're actually marked as rolled gold. So there's three rolled gold bands um, to, to the pen. Um, as you saw before, it's actually been fully serviced and what we've done, we've replaced all the washers, we've given it a lovely clean, we've given it a, a lovely polish as well. And <laughs> To be honest with you ladies and gentlemen, absolutely gorgeous pen. Um, as I say, I've actually done this one, it's been uh, restored and serviced for a customer and to be perfectly frank with you, the, the most difficult part of this service or the res restoration um, is actually sending the pen back to the customer. Um, I would love to keep this pen, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, let's take the cap off, which is a slip cap and if we put your both pen and the cap sort of together you can see here okay if we pop that down what you'll see it has the sort of standard Anotto uh, quite a long uh, section here and to the top of the section it has a well it has the nib is obviously the original um, Anotto nib the the nib again let's try and bring it quite close and I'm hoping you can you can see that, um, but what it actually reads is Delarue Onotto London, um, and then just to the bottom it has a number three. So it's an Onotto number three nib. If we turn it over, um, you can see there the feed to the back there has been uh, well. It's been lovely. It's nice and clean. We've given it a little polish as well, and. Uh, if we just give you a side on view, like so. All in all, ladies and gentlemen, an absolutely beautiful, beautiful pen. This particular one is a plunger filler, which means what we have to the end here is a plunger knob, which we actually simply turn all the way out and then just simply pull out the plunger like so. And if I pop it to you from a distance like so, there you can see the pen with the plunger all the way out okay and what we do is obviously just simply push it all the way in and then screw the plunger in like so
Now, as I've just serviced this particular pen, I've not actually sealed the thread in here yet. So, what I'd actually like to show you, if we just take the, the feed off like so, and again, what you can actually see inside there is this, this cone again, which we showed you a little bit earlier. And this cone sits in a little recess to the feed in the bottom, um, in the bottom of the section inside here, at the end of the feed. And what it actually does, it shuts off the ink flow to the pen. What we'll also show you, obviously what we needed to do is test the pen once we put new seals in. And if I just be quiet for a moment, uh, you should be able to hear that lovely popping sound. Okay, so we'll do it again. There we go. And one more time, I'll be quiet for a moment. So that lovely popping sound tells us that everything is working hunky-dory. If we get the... As I say, what I'll actually do before it goes to the customers, there's a, a small thread there, and what I'll actually do is just place a little bit of... Uh, I've got some uh, very tacky um, wax, and what I'll do, I'll just place some some of that tacky wax around the thread, uh, just to give it give it a lovely seal. Absolutely beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. A gorgeous, gorgeous pen. But, no doubt you people out there will say... Yes, but can we see it writing? Okie dokie, let's see it writing. So, what we'll do, brought on the pad, there's the ink. And again, what we do first of all is unscrew the plunger knob at the end, pull the plunger out. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see that, but as I've explained in all my other videos, to fill this pen, it fills on the downward stroke. So, what I'll do is pop the um, the nib into the ink and I'll be quiet for a moment and hopefully you can hear the bubbling sound okay so I'm hoping you could hear that so again that lovely sat satisfying sort of bubbling or whatever sound you'd like to call it tells us that everything is is hunky dory so what we do at this point we simply turn the plunger knob all the way home and then at that point just give it a little turn backwards and what that will do is open up <coughs> um, the ink release inside um, inside the section there so let's have a write with it this is absolutely the first time it's actually been written with so what we do we keep our fingers crossed and let's have a write so what we have here is a, a notto um, the Pen. Um, this particular one, as I say, is a number five two five three. I date this pen. These particular pens were launched around about nineteen thirties. Okay, as I say, um, I also believe this particular pen to be a celluloid pen. Okay, they brought out different colours in the in the celluloid, as I said before, the blue, reds, uh, and this particular one being the green. So, absolutely beautiful. Okay, the nib that I'm writing with, where normally they're actually they have a, a little bit of flex, and as you can see, on a downward stroke, um, we can get a broader line on the stroke across you can see it's very very fine so there is there is a little bit of flex to this particular nib and if we go across now you can see the lines are very fine and if we just try doing the figures of eights and on the downward stroke if we apply a bit of pressure you can see that there is a little bit of flexibility to to the nib okay so that's the writing sample. So what we'll do now, we'll replace the cap, which just simply pushes on like so. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. An absolutely beautiful, beautiful jade green. Um, this is the Anotto the Pen. It's made by Delarue uh, Company Limited of London. Um, as you well, 
as I've explained before this particular one is in jade green it's got these rolled gold bands to the pen to the cap um, it's got the lovely um, Anotto if we just keep it still for a moment we've got the lovely Anotto ball clip there and all in all ladies and gentlemen an absolutely beautiful 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 pen as I say I want it I want to keep it but unfortunately it's a customer's and it'll be coming back to you tomorrow you know who you are um, it'll be in the post for you tomorrow so there we have it ladies and gentlemen I hope you've enjoyed looking at this absolutely gorgeous pen um, and as I said before in all my other videos uh, go and take a look at my other videos subscribe to them leave a comment don't be shy and just for now ladies and gentlemen I'll simply say bye bye now